Sometimes I feel like I'm slipping in the same old shit. Dead in job any day. I'm gonna quit. How's your, how's your rage? My rage? Your rage level. Oh, but yeah, my rage level's pretty low. How do we look? You look awesome. Okay, good. Let's go. All right. What's up, guys? This is Starkey with Rock Rage Radio, and I'm here with Waylon. What's going on, guys? Oh, welcome to our bus, O37. Awesome. It's a very nice bus. Thank like you. it. Thanks. All right. You want to go in a line? Tell me your name and what you do in the band. My name is Phil, and I play the guitar in the band Wayland. <laughs> I'm Mitch. Oh, I'm the lead singer of the band Wayland, and I also I play guitar sometimes. Now don't sell yourself short there, Mitch. You what? also play piano. I do. I do play piano. You are the tambol- the official <coughs> tambourine, tambourine player, player in this yeah, band. Yeah. I do. I do write some music some, from time. You to do time the dishes well. when we're home. That's right. I do a lot of cleaning. <laughs> Multi talents. Uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So you guys live together too? He's not just a singer. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. Oh yeah. This band has lived together since before we were a band. Yeah. We wow. True. Yep. Been we've been a band for eight years now. And uh, we've always lived together and had, like, before we were touring full-time, when we worked day jobs, we <laughs> were, um, we worked together, too. We worked jobs that we could practice together, so our wow. hours would always be the same. Yeah. And uh, we kind of feel like, you know, that's a big part of who Wayland is, is that we're a very tight family. Uh, the four of us are a very tight unit because of that. You know, we've always, like I said, lived together. We've washed each other's dishes. We've run into each other at three in the morning peeing, you know, or whatever. You know, that <laughs> makes true. you play better music together, we, we think. That's awesome. So what were your day jobs before this? We don't, we don't get into that. It's a secret. Too. It's okay. Yeah. It's so, all right. Sorry. A lot of people try to get it out of us, but there are a few people out there that know. Yeah. Okay. Keep your mouth shut. I was about to say, are. maybe they'll you know say in are. the comments or something. What's that? <laughs> I said maybe they'll say in the YouTube comments or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe they might. We'll just erase them. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so uh, your last EP, you want to tell us about it? Do you yeah. remember it? Yeah, I remember the Welcome to My Head EP. Yes. That's the one. Yeah. We released that. Mitch was in seventh grade oh. when that came out. I don't think it was that grade. long ago. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. I just, my voice had just changed. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's, was it? Yeah, um, I mean, we, we've toured on that for... A while. Three years now. Yeah. Well, it's not on that. We've had a, we've got a lot of singles out since then. That's true. You know, but we've also had Reno and Get a Little. Mm-hmm. Gearing up for a new single, uh, Bloody Sunrise, coming out in, Ooh. I don't know, maybe a couple, probably a couple of weeks, I guess. Maybe less than okay. that. Okay. Is it just going to be the single, or can we expect a video, too? Uh, hoping for a video. We're kind of planning one right now. Which, our videos, um, both of our videos, Welcome to My Head and Get a Little, mm-hmm. were both planned, like, within a couple hours. Like, that's, wow. that's kind of how we do things. It's, <laughs> Pretty it's really quick, and, oh my gosh, here we go, we got to... You know, we got a house and we're gonna kick down a door and Mitch's gonna sing Walk My Head or we got a girl in the tractor and hurry up, get a little, you know, it's it's always <laughs> been like that. So um, if we do a video, it'll be very last minute and it'll be awesome and we'll give it all we got. Uh, but the song is killer and it's a great recording. And yeah, the track sounds really good. Yeah, we're excited to get it out there to everyone. I'm excited to hear it. So with all these singles, can we expect a new CD coming soon? An album? Yes. Uh, maybe. At some point say. in our career, we'll definitely release one. We're just, you know, we're, we really feel like with each group of songs that we write, it's like we write a group of songs and we think we're going to put a record out and, you know, a single will come out of that group of songs. Like Reno was from a group of songs and that mm-hmm. just was one of them from that time. Same thing with Get A Little. It was like a whole another batch of songs, like with Meet Me in Chicago and, and we we're going to do a record and then it's like, I don't know, the time passes and you get inspired on something new and Bloody Sunrise is kind of part of a new group of songs, but um, we're, we're just really, you know, stumbling down the journey that is, or the path that is our journey as a band and um, I think we might wake up one day and say, hey, we have the right group of songs to release a record and we will. That's a good point. Okay. You know, until then, um, you know, singles, can, you know, one song can really help define a band for, for the summer. It does, you know? especially in this new age. Yeah. Yeah, people are, are buying singles. People are they, a little bit there, a little bit there, you know. So, yeah. And you guys are always on tour. It seems that's another thing. I mean, like you ha- eventually, if you're going to record something, you're going to have to take time off the road to go into a studio and do that. And we just haven't found that right gap in the schedule to to, to do that. And uh, so, yeah, you're going to be in North, North Carolina all this week. Well, we were in North Carolina. Oh, I mean, we still are th- tonight, but we yeah. just have one more show after tonight, which is tomorrow, and then we're. 
Where are you headed to next? Uh, we do some South Carolina, and then we do some Tennessee, and Alabama, and Georgia, down into Florida, and back up into Alabama, and then uh, then we go like kind of across the country, like Mississippi, Louisiana, Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, do some Kansas, uh, work our way kind of slow, maybe hit a little bit of Nebraska. Okay. Have you hit all 50 states? No. Uh, I've never been to Hawaii or Alaska. That's true. And I'm not sure if we've played, we haven't done a lot of New England. No, we have played like Maine. Well, I don't think we've been played in Massachusetts or... North, North, North Dakota, South Dakota. What Dakota? We played in both of them. Yeah, I guess you're right. So I don't know. That's a tough one. Okay. Oh, are you planning to get to all of them? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I'd and love to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Who wouldn't, right? Yeah. yeah, we might not play in all of them, but we'll vacation yeah, in yeah. every one of them. And I do want to visit Alaska at some point. Okay. And festival season's coming up. Could we expect to see on anything? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Rocklahoma's been announced. Uh, we're on that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of big ones that haven't been announced yet, so we're not. Ah. So we we're not a little bit yet, yeah, but. But we could expect to see you a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we're, we're, we have a great summer ahead. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Oh, that is exciting. Yeah, festival <laughs> season is one of my favorites. Okay. Time, time. Because yeah, you show up every yeah. day, and all your favorite bands are there, and you know, some of them you're already friends with, and so it's hard on the liver, you know. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like a reunion all the time with your buddies, your drinking buddies. Um, but then you get to see all these, you, you know, you stick around by the backstage, and you get to see some absolute legends play on the same bill. Yeah. You know, last awesome. year we played with uh, Sammy Hagar was a really big one for me. Good, good to watch him. Um, well, I mean, played with Volby, Allison James. Yeah, Allison James was killer. Oh, dude. Was Talk about a legend. Yeah. So we've had some good ones. That's exciting. Now, is tonight an acoustic set? Yeah, it is. Yes. Wow, that'll be different. Yeah, we kind of determined that. Um, you never really know what you're going to get at certain venues and the smaller stage. Yeah, it? and so we kind of the way we see it is. They're getting a Whalen show no matter yeah. what. Mm -hmm. You know, we do what we do acoustic is very different than what we do electric, but it's really special to us and it's a whole other side of us. And um, we write a lot of our songs acoustic. Mitch and I first started out playing acoustic t together. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't see it as uh, much different, really. It's just like we walk in to kind of look at the, the actual physical venue and say, okay, what works best? It, if it's a small room, you know, yeah. we, we don't like to see bands in a small room, loud electric bands, because it's a it can be a bit painful. Definitely. And we always want to be enjoyable to, or, you know, at least able to listen to you. Know. Can we still expect the same amount of energy that we would get? Yeah, I'm going to smash Absolutely. my guitar. Smash. Definitely passion. You know, I don't do a lot of jumping in the acoustic shows. Yeah. But um, the energy... Passion's a good word for yeah, it. Yeah, that, that, same, that same angst, that same passion in the music, that's definitely still there. Awesome. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, I'm, we're excited to play. <laughs> All right, you got any last words for us? Tempernickel. I was going to say cool. blue. <laughs> blue and tempernickel. All right. <laughs> All right, this is Starkey checking out with Rock Rage Radio. See you guys. <laughs>